The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. Cold water has its uh, necessary precautions. It's a different mindset. You've really got to have your head in the game in order to jump in cold water each and every time, more so than normal warm water diving. Why would anyone dive in the cold water? Well, specifically, we go to the Antarctic to collect animals that are indigenous only to Antarctica. So we have to go there to get the animals that we work on. Most of the cold water diving at Hui in these waters uh, has involved either finding or repairing instruments that it was their time to be replaced. There might be some advantages to, to diving in cold water. Um, there are times of the year that happen to also be the coldest times of the year when uh, the visibility is much better than in the summertime. Almost everything else is disadvantaged. Um, you use air faster. You get cold so you can't stay down as long. It's a lot more physically challenging too. People that might be able to dive in warmer wouldn't necessarily be able to dive in cold water because of the amount of gear that you have to wear in the cold water. For instance, I might dive in warm water with uh, 12 pounds of weight. In cold water, I, I'll have 42 pounds of weight. So you've got a set of polypropylene underwear, your body suit, very thin gloves that are reflective, and then over that you put your wool set of gloves, and then you're ready to put on your dry suit. The dry suit does have a hood that you can pull up and over, but underneath that we put a neoprene balaclava. You have to do some contortions sometimes to get the suit on. They're, they're bulky, so um, they try to reduce the bulk by making them as form-fitting as possible. But uh, they don't stretch, so there's a trade-off between being easy to get into or too bulky to dive. Your, your thermometer in the cold water are your lips, because it's just about all that's exposed. Very, and they're very sensitive. <laughs> you can tell. You think they're frozen and you don't feel anything and you think you're all numb, but you know when you go from warmer into colder and, and colder back into warmer as you come back up to the surface. February of 2006, uh, we did a cruise in the Antarctic and the water temperature over that cruise was about 30 degrees. Now salt water freezes at 28.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, minus 1.8 Celsius. So in preparation for that cruise I did a few dives up here just to get my head in the game and check out my gear and the water here was actually colder than it was in the Antarctic during that trip. The worst dives when uh, dry, dry suit floods because that's the quickest way to, to get very cold very fast. Once a dry suit's flooded if you were to take it off it's very difficult to get back on again. The only choice is really to get out of the water, try to warm up, and then jump back in in a wet dry suit to finish the job. We did have uh, what seemed to be a, a really bad coincidence where uh, we were replacing instruments in a strong current. We both jumped in in full dry suits and they both immediately flooded. That was a situation where we uh, couldn't finish the job because we were just getting too cold to get anything done. I think there was only one picture taken during that dive, but it's when we got out. Um, the only way we could warm up was both divers got into the hot shower with our dry suits on and stood on in the hot shower until we used up all the hot water on the ship. We oftentimes dive in pack ice, and it's very disorienting because you, you the ice seems to be the, the bottom, and uh, you know it's not because your bubbles go to the ice. So there's an initial thing that you've got to just mentally overcome and say, okay, I'm under the ice. And then there can typically, depending on uh, uh, what the conditions are, how thick the ice is, how far from the ice edge to the open water edge you are, you, you may experience some claustrophobia, and many people do. It can be yeah, incredibly beautiful. I mean, the, the, I've had the best visibility of any diving I've ever done in the world uh, was in Antarctica. There's always new animals to see, to collect, new interactions that you experience. You never know what you're going to encounter. And it's always different. Every dive is different.
To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.